This is how you install your GPU the right way. The first thing you want to do is make sure your system's off and disconnected from the power source. Now take a look at the back of the case and make sure you have access to the correct expansion slots. The easiest way to do that is to just take the GPU and line it up with the PCIe slot on the motherboard. And we can see that the back plate of the GPU there is going to need access to these two expansion slots. If you look at the PCIe slot on the motherboard, you can see there's a little locking clip on the end. We need to push that back so that it's ready to accept the little tab on the connector of the GPU. I'm going to line up the connector on the GPU with the slot on the motherboard and line up the back panel with the open spaces on the back of the case over here. And then press it into the slot by applying some pressure to the side of the GPU. Next, we need to secure the GPU to the case with the screws we removed from those expansion slots. Now we're going to move on to hooking up the power. Every connector on your GPU needs to have a power cable plugged into it. Currently, I'm not aware of any GPUs that use more than one 16-pin cable, so you're just going to need one of those if your GPU has that connection type. For standard 6 or 8-pin cables, you're going to line up the cable with the connector on the GPU and press it all the way in. And you should hear a little click sound when the clip latches onto the connector. Perfect. If your GPU takes the 16-pin cable, it works the same way. Just make sure you insert it all the way into the connector and don't bend it too close to the connector. You want to give it some space before you make any bends. And that's it. Plug in your monitor, reconnect the main power cable, and fire up the PC. Now don't forget to download and install your drivers, and you're good to go.